Shaq, what you doing? What you doing, Shaq? Damn. In a minute, my guy. She was goody. Was goody. Dang, I got my guys up here. What y'all got going on? Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. What y'all got going on this weekend, man? Surprise y'all ain't outside, she's Surprise ain't outside. Britt, was goody, man? We got to talk, bro. Like, you been ducking, man. What's good, man? I told you we need to talk, man. Brandon Britt, man. Got to talk, man. Yeah. We definitely do, man. Yeah, man. Got one for y'all, man. See who rocking with staying out the way, Trey, man. Got one for y'all. Live game. Yeah. Trying to let some more people get in here, man. What's goody, though? Man, we got to talk, bro. Definitely, bro. I'm telling you, man. You need to get with me, man. If you got a TikTok, reach out to me on TikTok, Brandon Britt. If you got a TikTok, hit me on TikTok. Oh, hey, 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 how you doing, Gina? What's good? What's good with you? How you been? He said, bring the people. I only going to do that if you come co-sign about what was going on in there, man. That's what I'm saying. Me and you need to talk, Britt, man. If you come co-sign and let people know how Lawrenceville 30 building was, man, I'll come with them bangers, man. You know, I still got stuff in the tuck. I ain't even want to bring all those bangers out yet. You know what I mean? My TikTok staying out the way, Trey. Yeah. Hit me, man. Damn, man. I got street thousand followers. This is how these people treat me. Where y'all at? We got to hit the like button, y'all. Hit them like buttons, man. Hit the like button. I'm trying to see, man. I'm about to start going live more, man. Y'all know I'm just five weeks into this shit, man. Like, it's only been a little minute. You know what I mean? Give me some time. Like I say, y'all already know I'm going to keep up. I'm going to keep up and, and change the pace and everything. Yeah, hit me, Brandon. Real talk. Another dude from TikTok that, was, that worked up there, he hit me, bro. And I don't know. I guess once he found out I was Davis home, I don't know. That I ain't like Davis, he got there, lost contact. He went rogue on me, you hear me? He's supposed to be um, getting with me. Yeah, I forgot his name, though. Damn, shot. you ain't got to tease a nigga about the Cali weather, man. Yeah, damn, I already know the Cali weather exclusive, my brother. Yeah, I got to get out there. I ain't been to Cali yet in my life. I got to get out there, bro. But I got a banger I was trying to hit people with, but I was just trying to see if some people rock with me, man. I was going to hit them with this banger, man, you know. And of course, I'm going to still get y'all the banger, but I'm just trying to let's see if it's going to at least get it up to like 25, 30 game. You know what I mean? That's what's up, Gina, man. It's been years. We done grew up, didn't we? <laughs> we done got older around this jank. Yeah, man. Damn, man. This is my second time in my life going live ever. I'm all the way behind the scenes. <laughs> Stayed out the way, Trey, all the way behind the scenes. Shot, you say you coming out this, Jane, ain't you? Then you say you coming out here soon?
Yo, what's good with you? How you doing? How you doing? What's good? Yeah, I got a bang I'm trying to drop, man. I'm trying to drop this bang. I was trying to let it see, you know what I mean? Let it build up real quick. See if some people come rock with staying out the way, Trey. You know what I mean? Like they doing my stories. I'm trying to see if they come rock with me on the live. Try my hand one time, man. I see I still got to build up more. I still got a lot of work to do. I already know I got a whole lot of work to do. But I guarantee you, I guarantee you, man. Give me, give me about a year and a half with this. We going up. Y'all know the count. We going up. I'm going to turn it all the way up. All right. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, the Muslims, man, the Muslims, like, some people consider them a gang. They're not really a gang. They, they a religion. But they just look like a gang because they all stick together. You know what I mean? So just imagine if something do ever go down with one of the brothers and you see like 25 dudes with koofies on you coming at you. Like, do you consider that a gang? <laughs> I don't consider them a gang. Some people do. Some people do. The Muslims cool though, man. The Muslims don't be, you know what I mean? They don't be trying to, you know what I mean? Start no smoke. None of that. A lot of them be cool, but you they you gotta understand though, a lot of them come from backgrounds where they where they was where they was with that life. So you gotta treat them as such. You can't think just because they're a Muslim, you're gonna sleep on them. Cause the Muslims go dumb hard. All the Muslims usually go dumb hard. So appreciate that, man. Appreciate that, uh Mikhail 16. Appreciate that, man. I'm trying to, you know, like people want me to drop every day, you know what I mean? Like I can, you know what I mean, but you know, I'm just, I'm still getting the hang of this. I'm still getting the hang of this, man. I ain't trying to get burnt out too fast. You know what I mean? I'm only 16. I only got, I only did 16 years in prison. You know what I mean? So like, I'll be up here just talking babble. If I, you know what I mean? If I just keep rocking every day, you know what I mean? I'm trying to make sure when I do drop my videos, all my videos be great content. You know what I mean? Like, it's a great story. Like, my Jones like movies for real. That's why I explain all my videos in detail. I go into other things surrounding what was around those things that was going down. And then when I y'all know when I'm getting close to the end, y'all know when it's about to get juicy. So that's how I do my stories. Yeah. Trying to keep the story game, you know what I mean? Keep the story game up for everybody, you know. If it get to 15 people, I'm going to take off, man. But y'all got to hit the like button, man. Hit the like button, man. Let's get it, man. Hit that like button. Maybe more people will come if y'all hit that like button. Hit that like button. Let's do it. <clears throat> so, look. This is the story about a dude, man. Let's get into it, man. I'm about to get into it, man. Get it over with. Get y'all this banger real quick, man. People can catch it later probably, man. But this is a story, man, about a dude that was the vulture of the pod. Like, you know what I mean? I can't put him in booty bandit status or I can't put him in predator status, you know what I mean? Because I never really saw those things from him, but definitely a predator. I mean, not a predator, but definitely a vulture. He was definitely a vulture. Like, he used to be... Like, first of all, this is a Greensville, y'all. This is like still, I'm still at the compound where I told y'all I was going home from from my last store. That's where I'm at. This is a go home pod. Dudes is about to go home. Everybody that's out of 88 people, a lot of people is coming in there going home, but out of 88, I'll say at least 10 or 12 dudes in there are not going home. And that's what makes that pod weird. They got like 10 or 12 dudes. And a lot of those dudes, like I was telling y'all, they run little programs like for dudes who just, you know what I mean? They know we about to get out. So they're trying to get out as well, but they, you know, a lot of them been locked up years ago. So they're under old law. So old law, you still could go off a of parole. I think after, if you were, your case is after 95, 96, I could be wrong, but it's somewhere in there. You still can go on, um, go off a of parole. So the dudes that they had in the pod, they actually run little classes and little go home programs, basically like um, the stuff that we job need, you know, like some opening up, just 
one by one, everybody tell their story, what they, what they was the plan when you got going home. It'd be different little jumps they do, but all of them do it because it helps them when they go off for of parole. So they got like 10 or 12 dudes that's, you know what I mean, in the, in the, um, in the pod that's not going home. Everybody else is going home. So like out of 88, at least I'll say 78 or 76 of us are going home. The rest of them, they trying to get out on some parole and they just in the pod. So it makes it weird because they mingle them in with a bunch of dudes that's going home. Now, a lot of these old dudes, like they, they done been down. Like they understand, they done been through the wild stuff. So now they see this is a good thing for them. Like they're not around the other compound, around the other maniacs. Mm -hmm. You gotta go through all the other shit. Excuse me, y'all. My bad, my bad, my bad. I ain't even, let me, damn, I ain't even turn. I told y'all I'm a rookie, man. Let me turn my on. do not disturb. All right, my bad, my bad. Apologize for that. Apologize for that. My bad, man. But look, back to what I was saying. Like, these dudes, basically, the older dudes that they got in there, they already been down. They done been through the situations. So, like, they feeling like being in a, being in the pod with us is a good thing. All of us are about to go home. So, even though they've been, they, they trying to do the right thing, they walking straight, they still dudes that been locked up forever. So, they still, like, they ain't, they ain't, so, they ain't on no soft, like, any dude gonna carry them. They still move around regular. It's just a respect thing going on. So, a lot of these dudes, I'll say out of like 10 or 10 to 12 of them, all of them had classes. It was like two or three in there that like was the laundry man. And it was like another one that was the barber. And it was another one that um that cleaned it, cleaned up downstairs. Now, the dude who I'm talking about who cleaned up downstairs, his name is Minky. He had a crazy name. Don't ask me why his name is Minky, but his name is Minky. But he worked the salad port of the building. Now, we're in a building where I told y'all, in that building, particular building where I'm at, is two pods, there's two upstairs, two downstairs. You know what I mean? Now, he worked the downstairs cleanup, but he's in our pod, but he's in control of all the hallway stuff. That's his job. And he takes that job serious. Now, this dude, Minky, he already been down probably like 38 years. Like, he been down, 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 down. All the way down. You know what I mean? He's He was actually from the town. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie to y'all. He was from Norfolk. So... <laughs> it was weird, but you know what I mean? He's been like, he's he's been down and like for real, for real, ain't no making no for, um, parole for him. Like, I don't think so. Like they say he was just super maniac status back in the day. He used to stab people, he used to wild out. He got a reputation. You know what I mean? He had a reputation in there, man. Like he been down massive years. So he definitely had a reputation. But you know, when I came into the pod, you know, me and him really didn't really have no, you know, conversation. You know what I mean? Because I just seen, I you know, like I'm kind of like, just still like kind of trying to feel things out. But dude told me, like, it wasn't a lot of dudes in there from Norfolk. That was another weird thing. I'm like, damn, I get to a spot where there ain't a lot of dudes from Norfolk. Like, it happens. But I didn't think that'll happen. Like, it's always dudes from Norfolk everywhere in every prison. So that part didn't really have no dudes from Norfolk. So the only dude they was pointing at that was from Norfolk was the dude Minky. So I'm like, damn. Like, I already know what time it is. He a real old head. Like, he got, a, he got the jeans with the... The, the, they, 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 they hemmed at the bottom, you know what I mean? Slightly look like bell bottoms. He got the state boots like I got in my short, in my short videos. He got the, the, the tie. I'm talking about the, not no crispy state boots. He like his jumps to look old and flat, tied tight with the jeans going over him on some bell bottom style. I got his shirt tucked in all day, you know what I mean? And he worked the salad port. So they tell me he was from the town, you know what I mean? When we finally went past each other, we spoke, you know what I mean? Quick. I ain't really into making no new friends. I don't give a damn where you're from at this point. Like I was telling y'all a lot of my videos, like when it came to the end, especially the end, I learned that in the middle of my bed, but at the end, I definitely wasn't pressed on meeting new friends. So, you know, me and him really didn't really kick it like that, but he was in the pod, I was in the pod, you know what I mean? But the reason why I called a man a vulture because like the first thing that I pinned that he used to do, man, used to throw me off. Like it was, it was, it was crazy. And like, y'all, like I told y'all, I'm super duper nosy. You know what I mean? I'm still like that to this day. And prison made me like that. Don't don't blame me for being nosy. I'm nosy as hell. So I'm always watching everything. So I started seeing with this man, like why why he really wanted that job out in the hallway. And it's like it, it what made it kind of crazy and sick is because I knew the, the 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 COs and the sergeants and the lieutenants knew the same thing. And it's like that prison was really different from Lawrenceville. It was real prison. So like they let dude get away with everything. Like everything, like he, he can get away with anything. And like I told y'all, it was to the point with him that they knew he was a maniac. 
They knew he was crazy. They just hope he don't kill nobody, and they were just trying to stay out his way. So with a dude with a reputation like that, I'm definitely trying to stay out his way. Like, even with him being from out the way, you know what I mean? I'm definitely trying to stay out his way. So, boom, I'm watching him. So I look, you know what I mean? Now, the part beside us is the intake part, y'all. That's the part I told y'all I went to in the beginning on the phone video. I told y'all I went there in the beginning, and I got into it. They put me in a cell with a dude that was like 65 that was going crazy. So the lady just moved me. And I'm thinking she's going to move me to a whole nother building or another cell in that pod, which was the intake, because I just got there. She ended up moving me to the pod that I'm talking about now that we're in, which is right next door, which was a go home pod, too. So, boom, the intake pod is next door. So I'll say like at least three times a week or at least every other week, definitely three times a week, you're going to see new inmates coming in. And, and when new inmates come in, I don't know if they, 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 they were just like if some dudes say they got them on the other side of the yards. I thought that was just the only intake pod. Why I was that in S1, but they'll have to come to that pod. You have to start at that pod. Once you get in that pod, you will be in that pod a week or two, maybe less. Like once they find out where they're going to put you at permanently, then they'll move you to where you're going to be at. So, boom, I thought that's supposed to happen with me, but it didn't happen with me because I ended up getting into my roommate. So I guess they checked when I was going home. Boom. Look, they see I was down for a little minute. I ain't really in no gang. They checked all that. They sent me to the little honor pod, go home jump. So that was the jump next door. Now the dude, Minky, used to work in the salad port, sweeping and mopping. So it's like every time the intakes come through, I ain't even gonna lie, y'all probably like on two of those three trips, it could be a homosexual that come through there. You know what I mean? It's definitely like, it, that you seen like back to real prison, even though I had a year left, Greensville was real prison. It was, you seen homosexual. It was back to real prison. Like it was homosexual was up there. Like, you know what I mean? Like the, the crazy homosexuals, like, you know what I mean? They was up there. So boom, he'll be out in the hallway and <laughs> I started seeing what he was doing. This man used to go out there and he used to have first dibs on the homosexuals. Now that sounds sad and I ain't trying to bash nobody, but that's what it used to look like to me. He used to be out there cleaning and let's say a, 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 like a bus of six, seven dudes, they'll bring them in, they'll come in, you'll see them hit the hallway. You know they knew because I forgot. They were, um, like you, you change clothes into the Greensville stuff, but the way they come, you got your, your, your bag, you know it's, it's the new people coming in the, in the building. You know what I mean? So he'll be down there cleaning up and he'll have first dibs to the jump. So the reason why I knew he had first dibs um, on, on, on to, um, to the homosexuals is because the first time I seen him do it, boom, the homosexual come in, go to the intake pod. You know what I mean? Then he go over there with the, with, the, uh, with the intake. Next thing you know, he over there for a minute. The next thing you know, the door open in front of the police. The police weren't in the pod, but the police in the booth seeing what was going on. He come in the pod, the homosexual come in the pod behind him. You know what I mean? They go straight to his cell. The homosexual come out with some stuff. You know what I mean? Go back to the intake pod. Two days later, the homosexual was moving in the pod. <laughs> he was moving in the pod. So the dude, Minky, had that type of power. That man power was crazy. Like, you know what I mean? I, like I say, maybe they gave him this power because they probably know he'll kill somebody. He already killed in the past. I don't know what it was, but he had that type of power. So next thing you know, the homosexual was in the pod. You know what I mean? Everything's going smooth, you know what I mean? One night I'm in the cell and I'm chilling, you know what I mean? Like, and at night for real, for real, like I told y'all, Greensville don't got them window, they don't have no windows on their doors. Like it's a window, but there's no shield on the window. Like you can stick your arm through the jump. So you can hear a lot. Like if you, somebody was coming, ah, somebody was screaming in their cell or something, you can hear it. So one night we all chilling in the cell and we hear somebody say, Boxes moving, yeah, a whole lot of noise. So it's like one o'clock in the morning, you know what I mean? So it's it's noise, it's a lot of noise. So I know dudes heard it, I heard it, you know what I mean? So boom, the next day, you know what I mean? We look up, we see the same homosexual. Next thing you know, he's leaving. You see, they bring the cart, he put his stuff in the junk, he's leaving out, you know what I mean? Now the police is walking him out. So when the police leave and we done came all out in the pod, everybody like, oh, what the hell was that last night? We're like, man, you know, Mickey be goddamn, he be. He'll beat, the, he'll beat the boys up, man. Like, he crazy, man. I'm like, damn, he beat the... And he's not really a big dude. He was like a regular size five, eight dude. Uh, didn't have no muscles. He, he didn't work out. He just had a reputation for killing. And he been down forever. So that'll make it believable. You know what I mean? So a lot of dudes really didn't bother him because if you really do bother him, you're going to have to go all the way in. Be prepared to go all the way in. Because if you're not, you know what I mean? That man would definitely try to hurt you, man. He don't give a damn about you going home. He's not never going home. This dude was never going home. And it was wild that they had a dude that was never going home 
in the go home pod. <laughs> Do y'all believe that? A man is never going home in the go home pod, man. How is that possible? How is that possible, man? But at Greensville, that's how it was, man. So another thing he's to do, that, that was like a vulture move because he did this a few more times that I'm telling y'all about, being in the salad port, getting first dibs to the homosexual. So another thing, you know what I mean, that I seen, like he was a vulture. Like when I first come in, like I think that's how me and him end up having the conversations because uh, he yeah, he ended up he ended up um, running the poker game. So like, I played poker at Lawrenceville. You know what I mean? I played poker. Appreciate that shot, my guy. Hey, look, Dwayne Ruffin, appreciate you, my bro. But nah, look, he used to run the poker game. So I played poker at Lawrenceville. Once I learned how to play on susses, I, you know, I, I'll play, I'll play sometime to burn time. So he, he running the poker game. He know everybody in there is about to go home. So like nobody else, like sometimes dudes would come out and play, but nobody was real. I ain't gonna lie. In that part, nobody was really on no gamble game like that. It wasn't no gamble game jumping on. Like dudes was really trying to gamble because it was about to go home. Everybody was about to dip. All dudes used to do is use the phone, work out. And you see a cycle of that all, all, all month, every month. So he's in there. He'll come out and he'll do it on store day. Like he'll come out with his bag. He'll 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 put his blanket on the table and he'll just be standing in, on at the table just to see who he gonna sucker in on some vulture shit. Like he'll just be sitting there like shirt tucked in and this man looked evil, y'all. He was light skinned, he was bald headed, he had like bloodshot red eyes. Man, he kind of remind you of a pig, man. That's what he looked like, man. He just did look wild, man. He was older, he didn't have no facial hair and. He was just, man, that man looked like, like for real, they can make a cartoon of this dude. Like, real talk, man. This dude's supposed to be on the boondocks. <laughs> no bullshit, man. I'm telling you. So, he was just a wild-looking dude. So, boom. He at the poker table just standing there like, like he waiting on, like, who, who dares to go after me? And for real, for real, the man was dumb scrap, y'all. I have to say this man, like, for real, for real, he been down mega years. Like, he don't have no vices. The man just loved the homosexuals. Like that was, I saw that was his vice. You know what I mean? And the reason why I say that was his vice because he'll have to work that play of bringing them to the pod and letting them go in his cell and giving them something. Now, now the reason why I believe a lot of the homosexuals really bit on actually whatever his offer was of getting them over to his cell was because one day when I played poker and I went to this man's cell, you know what I mean? And I ended up winning this day one day I played. So it, I didn't win number like $15 or something like that. But I had to go to his cell to get it. So his cell was on the bottom tier, like all the way back, right before the corner. His cell was like right there, which was still in the cut, kind of like back by the windows. Anybody that been to Greensville was right there. So I look, you know what I mean? I go to his cell to get the money. My word on everything, y'all. This is, this is my word. <laughs> this is my word. I go to this man's cell. This man's cell that looked like the hygiene out in Walmart. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. This man had, this man had like, and this is the green boxes of Irish Spring. This man had like 150 of those stacked up in the corner, nice and neat. About 150 of them. He had like five, he had like 50, he had like 52 paces, the Colgate Jones. He had like 50 Ultra Brights. He had got down like 50 lotions. Man, I'm, listen. I never seen, I done, I've been locked up 16 years. I done seen dudes who get the pat, dudes be dumb, dumb scrap. I done seen how dudes look when they scrap. You know what I mean? This man had, man, he had too much damn hygiene, man. Then he had it stacked nice and neat. Like looking to his, looking into his cell, that junk look like now when I walk into, when I'm going to a store like right in or something, I'm going into the hygiene now, like to get a deodorant or get some more toothpaste or something like that's what his junk look like. This picture, I, he had his shit stacked neatly. I'm talking about all them damn green Irish spring boxes was like 20, 20. I'm talking, he probably had like 200 of them shits. No bullshit. So now I seen, that's why a lot of the homosexuals probably bit when they came over there. Not only that, he had under his bed, he probably had like at least 500 sodas. You know what I mean? Now you can go to the store, you can order probably, like, I think it's 50 or something like that you can order. He store box as well, y'all. So he, he run a little store box sometime. And you know his store box gonna be iron fist. If you go get some good something from him, he know dudes is about to go home. So he one of them dudes that he'd be careful who he give his money to. He just was an all-around 
I mean, I ain't mad at him for that. You're supposed to be scrapped like that if you're never going home, bro. Like, you, you, you're never supposed to have. That's money, actually. All those items in there can, can turn out to be stuff he can use to buy. But he'll never do nothing with it, man. That that's He's going to take that with him for the rest of his life. He's probably still in that pod. You know what I mean? I've been gone seven years, man. But his sale was crazy, y'all. His sale was dumb scrap. He had everything in that damn sale. I was like, God damn. This nigga scrap. He had 100 sodas. He had a bag hanging up over there. He probably had, like... 300 potato chips. Yeah, a bag with just all pastries. That man had everything, man. So now I see why when the, when the homosexuals come in sale, that's why they might have, you know what I mean? That's why they might roll that direction. So, boom. Me and him never really bumped heads at all. But it was a time that, it was two times. But it was I wouldn't consider it bumping heads. But, like, I started, I started feeling that he really didn't like me because... And I think he really didn't like me because I really wasn't somebody that was like that needed him or not only I needed him, but like, I just didn't really look his direction. I really didn't give a damn what he was doing. Even though I, I pinned what he was doing, I never really gave a damn what he was doing. Like, yo, bro, I'm going home. I'm just being aware of my surroundings. So I know he I used to like feel like, yeah, bro, don't fuck with me. Or I really didn't, to be honest with you. I didn't, man. Like, I'm just trying to get home and hope you don't stab my brains out on, on a on a killing spree. Like, cause that's the type of time it looked like you was on. So the first time, kind of like me and him jive, bump heads, it was like, boom. This Another time, he being a vulture out in the pod, the homosexual was coming. This is after he beat the first dude up, but now another one come in. I witnessed it three times. So the second time, another one come in. So boom, it's, 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 it's um, the, it's, he, he kind of was like, uh, I'm trying to describe how he looked, because this dude looked crazy as hell, but <laughs> he moved into the man's cell. So when he moved into the man's cell, now, you know, we have a phone. You know what I mean? I told y'all we had our own phone. Everybody had their phones in there. But I was into a phone with some dude. It was a dude from Jersey. It was the dude, Doc, that used to, like, he was, like, one of the main teachers of that go-home stuff. And he was, like, everybody that's in there, that all the other old dudes that's doing classes, they, they, they following his lead as far as how you do classes. Because he was one of the ones that first started. So he's another one in there with life. You know what I mean? But he was actually cool. I was cool with him. He was an old dude from D.C. Dumb cool. So me, we have our own phone. You know what I mean? And I got into I got in I got in the phone joint with them in the phone line with them. And you know, we, we hold that phone down like everybody else holding their phone down. So the homosexual moving to his cell. So I don't know if the, he told the homosexual what's going on, but I know the homosexual is not green to how he know how it runs in here. You have to know how to this, you've been in prison, you know it's how the phone game go. So what did he do? It's a dude, it's a dude that's before me on the phone, you know what I mean? But I, I'm getting the phone next. So I'm sitting at the table, you know what I mean? So the dude is on the phone. I forgot, I think my man that was on the phone line with us, he let his man use the phone, but I'm after him. So we just, I'm just at the table talking. So I know he about to hang up, you know what I mean? I know it's time about to run out soon because he ain't been on a minute. So I'm just waiting my turn. So he about to hang up. So I see him, as soon as he do like this, I see the homosexual, he come and say, can I use the phone? But he's grabbing as he's doing it. So. When he's doing that, that's when I come. And I'm like, no, nah, I got next. I got next. I was like, and then he's after me. I was like, it's a line in here. But I already got the phone in my hand. I'm like, it's a line in here. So, like, I, <laughs> what do you want me to do? You need to holler at the dude who got who got, all, who got the whole damn Keefe commissary in his cell. And he, you need to holler at him. That's basically what I'm saying. So I used the phone. So I guess he went back and told dude. And the dude probably was like, oh, that's wheezy. Da, 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 da. And I don't know if it was something bad. I ain't going to say he said nothing bad about me. But I know for a fact he probably went back and told um the dude on uh, uh, Minky. So, boom. That happened. So, it was another dude in there that I was dealing with. He was from, he was actually in, in Lawrenceville with us. So, I knew him because he was in 33 Pod with us at Lawrenceville. And he was in the cell with a dude from Norfolk that I was cool with. So, he wasn't from Norfolk, though. He was a, he was from around, I can't, it's somewhere by Lawrenceville. That's where he is from. I can't, I can't remember the name of the town, name of the city. I can't remember it, but that's where he was from. So I met him when I got to that pod. He the one was, was giving me the game and like, yo, look, if you, you know what I mean? You stay out of the way, bro. They'll let you stay in this junk. They won't send you to the to the wild ass S3 junk where the real go home junk is at when niggas is going crazy over there. You can stay over here, this junk crazy laid back. So it was like it was destined for me to get over there because I got over there and they, they ended up letting me keep him stay over there. But dude was the one that gave me the game. But I can't, his name was AJ, but I can't remember where he was from. But he ended up buying a trade from his man. His man bought the trade from the homosexual. Now, this particular trade right here, y'all, 
I want to say it was chicken. I want to say it was something like that. It was something great because I went to the child hall this time. So the dude, AJ's on the phone. So they called child. So he like, look, get the tray for my man. You know what I mean? My man owe me a chicken. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, ah, I get it. I'm like, what you want me to do? He's like, if I don't get there, you can have it. I'm like, bet. So I go to the child hall. When I get to the child hall, I see his man in there. His man, his man is in the line. His man get a tray, but his man go sit down. So I finally get my tray. I go sit down. So as I'm looking back, I see his man about to dip. I'm saying, yo, you got a tray for AJ? He said, he said, oh yeah, shit. He called a homosexual name. And now I'm just like stuck in the matrix. Cause I'm like, ah, never no dealings. What's going on? What's going on here? He like, get a tray, get a tray to bro right here. Yeah, get that tray. So he just getting, the homosexual is just getting his tray. So the homosexual came and got me and gave me the tray. So I get the tray. As I look up, I see the vulture, the maniac, the dude Minky. I didn't even know he was in the child hall, but who, I didn't even care. Like I said, I don't even look his direction like that. Like, And I look up, he's sitting way far by himself at another table. And I don't know if him and the homosexual beefing or not, but when I look up, he's like, he's just looking at me. Like not a long stare, but we locked eyes. And when we locked eyes, he dipped first. He was like, he went back to eating. But I felt like the lock eyes thing was like basically saying like, <laughs> stay away from my peoples. But I'm like, that ain't had nothing to do with it. I just, man, that joint was crazy. So I felt like that was a time me and him jived, not bump heads, but I already know he really didn't like me. You know what I mean? So that's what, that was that. The second time, something else I was supposed to be doing. Don't supposed to be doing this. I'm about to go home. I don't supposed to be gambling. But the homosexual dude that I was telling y'all about that was uh, on Lawrenceville named Chicago, he actually runs this football pool, which you play the football pool, you circle uh, you, uh, you circle the teams, and then y'all know at the, on the, at the end of the pool, you put a score, what you think that Monday night game might be, the Sunday night game might be, you know what I mean? Monday night, Sunday night, one of the jokes. You put like a total score just in case it comes down to – Everybody has the same amount of losses. So that's what that is for. So I already know how to play that because I've been playing that for years. You know what I mean? I didn't play this junk for years. Like, he's the dude that everybody plays the junk because if you play his junk, it's going to be at least like four, five hundred dollars in that junk every time. And if you hit the junk, that's a that's a whole lot of that's a whole lot of stuff. You know what I mean? I didn't hit his junk before. You know what I mean? On Sussex 2 before. So boom. He's running the pool. He's upstairs, though. He's all the way in the part upstairs but he'll see dudes i know in the child hall or wherever he see you he'll pass out his ticket or it might be somebody in our party know him he's passing out tickets either way i played the ticket so i played the ticket so sunday come football is on i have no losses i can't remember what week this was but i walked it i walked it i walked one o'clock games no no losses at one o'clock so i went on four o'clock games i got three games on four o'clock games i won all three of those games so it came down to the Sunday night game. And I'm, you know, so when you play this thing, they pass out to each and everybody that played their money, everybody that put their money up for that pool, they'll give you a master sheet along with your ticket back, letting you know that they have your whatever your number is on the master sheet circled, highlighted, or whatever. That'll let you know where you at on the on the ticket. So I'm looking at the master sheet. I'm I'm seeing it's only between me and another dude. You know what I mean? But I'm seeing that the score jump is coming down to the score jump because we picked the same team for that Sunday night game. So when I looked at the when I looked at the sheet, I looked at the sheet, y'all. I'm like, damn. Is it did it, it goes like the closest to the joint? And for real, for you, I ain't even gonna lie. I can't really even remember how it go. I want to say it's the closest to the number without the closest to the score without going over. If both or both whoever has the, um, the, the zero amount of losses, that's how it goes. So I saw that. The score went to, I had, my number was 28 or something like that. And the score went to like 30 or something like that. The score was like 30. Then the other dude, he had like 41. No, nah, he probably had like 36 or something. Whatever it was, they straight jerked me. So, boom, I, I'm, I'm like, oh, I hit. I'm telling everybody, I'm like, oh, I, shit, I hit this job. Damn, I'm, fine. I'm about to go to the career for real. Everything I'm going to get, I'm going to trick off, give away. You know what I mean? But I'm still playing. I played, I hit. I'm looking like I hit. I hit, man. So I can't wait till the morning time. You know what I mean? Because usually in the morning time, that's when the, the homosexual dude Chicago will bring all the stuff out. So, boom, I go to breakfast. I don't see him. I wake up the next morning, happy. I don't want a little pool. You know what I mean? I wake up the next morning. I do not see this man, y'all. He's nowhere to be found. I'm like, dang, he didn't go to breakfast. 
So they about to call Rex. So now I'm getting a little antsy now. I, I'm, I'm being a maniac because I'm about to go home. I don't supposed to be doing this. I'm being a maniac, y'all. So I come out. I come out the salad port. The maniac dude, Manky, he's working in the salad port, being a vulture like he always do. So he's right there. So I said, look, did such and such part come out yet for Rex? He like, nah, they about to come out. So I'm like, right, I'm going to wait right here till they come out. So they come out. So I see him. I'm like, yo, Chicago, look, what's up? What's up? He like, what's up? <laughs> I'm like, what? What's up? I hit. That's what's up. He like, you ain't hit, T.Y. I'm like, I ain't hit. I'm like, look, man, I don't have no losses. I'm showing him my master sheet. He like, nah, it came down to the score. And your score wasn't, and I'm talking about, like, he's straight faced, but he's dead serious. Like, I'm, I'm just looking like, I'm putting a position now, like, what I'm going to do? Like, I don't I don't want to, I can't really just spaz out on this guy. I'm out of bounds for real anyway. What I'm doing, I'm about to go home gambling. I'm about to get into it with a homosexual. What is the, so I just like, reality hit me real fast, y'all. And I was like, so the old, the, the dude Manky, he's listening to the whole conversation. You know what I mean? He's listening to the whole conversation. So I say, I said, look, I said, man, I can stand a straight man. I said, look, I hit this jump. Please tell, please tell this dude I hit this jump, man. You know what I mean? Cause he telling me my jump, was close. I thought whoever was close or not, who who went over or if, if it didn't go over, whatever how he was explaining it, the old dude Mankey walked up, looked at the jump. He said, he put his reading glasses on on my ass. And I'm from the town. He said, oh, you lost, Wheezy. I said, oh my God. I said, what? Like, for real, I wasn't expecting him to lie. But like, at the end of the day, like, I just was like, damn, like, that's, that's what it is. I was like, you know what? I said, you know what? Y'all got that, man. I ripped that shit up. Slung that shit out there, man. Y'all can have that, man. Went back in the pod. Went back. Went in the cell. Checked my damn self. Laid down. Like, bro, you wildin'. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, man? What are you doing, man? So, at the end of the day, me and the dude, Maggie, man, like, I just seen how he was a vulture. He used to try to vulture everybody out. They stuff in there because he know dude's about to go home. I used to see him vulture trying to be a vulture with the homosexuals, like just waiting around for the, whoever comes through. So now the dude that used to be in the cell, he's gone too. You know what I mean? He's he's out of there too. You know what I mean? Another domestic game as usual. But then the COs didn't give a damn what he did. They didn't care. They didn't care if that man beat up a hundred people. And like I say, they they knew he was a murderer back in the day. It was the, the rumor around the pod was he definitely never was gonna make parole. He never was gonna make parole. They say he got too much stuff on his jacket in DOC. So he's never going to make parole. So that was a known fact. So boom. I'm just trying to stay out of his way, man. I ain't even going to lie to y'all. Like for real, for real. I'm like, why do we have dudes like this in the pod? Like I didn't really understand it. <clears throat> so, and I kind of knew that his demise was coming soon. Like <laughs> I, I knew his demise was coming soon, man. And I just really wanted to just, you know, like witness it and just be like, man, for real. Because dudes that do stuff like that sometimes they come will be bad in jail. In prison, your karma will be bad if you one of them dudes is just always on grind time. Like, and, and the reason why I, th I thought he was on grind time is like I told y'all, he's trying to vote around dudes that he knew was going home. He's trying to do vulture moves, trying to sucker dudes into gambling. He's suckering the people to come into his cell. Like, I just didn't really like his style, man. I won't used to being around old timers like that. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure they exist in, in the system from every city, not just not just Norfolk. They exist in every city of Tidewater in Virginia. You got old timers like that. But after I got rid of uh, being around a bunch of old timers on Sussex when I left in 09, after being on Lawrenceville for seven years, I wasn't used to being around no maniac old timers. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. So he was different. He was just different, man. So one night, boom, before the night, y'all, we wind the tape. He ended up doing the same play, vulturing game, acting like he out there sweeping. So one one, uh, one day, a, a tall homosexual came into the in intake pod, and I don't know where he was from. I didn't even care where he was from, but he ended up moving into the pod, and he kind of looked like Leon Spanks, the boxer. That's what I used to say he looked like. He looked like Leon Spanks in the face. And he was kind of tall. He was just tall as hell, and he went for the move. He went for the move. Dude went to the intake pod. He brought him over to our pod. He took him to the Walmart hygiene aisle. You know what I mean? Showed him everything. The punk come out. Excuse me, not a punk. I apologize. The homosexual came out with a laundry bag. He came out with a laundry bag. He had a laundry bag in his arm. He leave out. He go back to his pod. Two, three days, two, three days later, like on that Friday, they moved him into our pod. So now he's in the cell with dude. You know what I mean? So they're in the cell. 
I'll say for about a week or two, y'all. Maybe about a week. Maybe it was about a week or two. I'll say it was about a week or two. You know what I mean? But the the, the way the way it, it looked like, you know what I mean? It just looked like this dude, he ain't gonna be able to beat this dude ass. Like, you know what I mean? I told you he looked like Leon Spanks. He looked like a boxer. Like he had like his the his, he just his way his arms looked just like he could fight. You know what I mean? He just looked like he was a fighter. So one night we in a cell. You know what I mean? One night we in the cell, we hear boom, 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 boom. We hear, we hear boxes move, the shoes screeching. Yeah, yeah. So it sounds like somebody down there running. Like, Who the hell is that? I get up immediately because this ain't really late. It's like after we locked down, like after 12 when they cut the lights off. So I'm like, what the hell? Everybody come to look. You hear the noise. You hear, ah, ah. Police running there. Boom. This time the police running. Police running. We see them running towards the dude's cell. His cell is undermined. They run towards his jump. Man, that's my word, man. They brought Mickey out, man. Mickey was beat down. Mickey came out that jump limping. He looked like, I told you, light skin. He looked like he was bleeding over here. You know what I mean? Now, through the other couple of times, y'all, that we this situation where we saw the, the police running after a domestic fight, usually it'll be the homosexual leaving. You know what I mean? This it always used to be the homosexual leaving because they say he used to he's the like fighting though. He's the like the fight though. You know what I mean? So after, I guess after he fight him, you gotta get the hell out of the cell. You know what I mean? I guess that's how it used to be. But this time, you seen Mankey coming out. He came out limping. He kept, ah, he kept making his noise. Ah, he had to throw on his head. Police, you know, they took him out to salad point. He just kept holding his knees like he was he was in his he was in his boxes and a in a t-shirt. That's all he had on his boxes and a t-shirt. He was just, he was just linked over like, you know what I mean? Niggas was like, oh shit. Next thing you know, you seen the homosexual come out. He come walking out confident. He came walking out like he just put that work in on me. Yeah, I said, oh. On the low, y'all, y'all know I was like, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. God damn it. Yes. Let's go. You know what I mean? Get him out of here, man. Crazy, man. I was done. I was done seeing that vulture, man. That was word, man. Like, I was done seeing him, man. But say word, y'all. Like, three weeks later, they never moved nobody into his cell. Like I told y'all, they handpicked everybody that they wanted to come over there. So sometimes it'd be sales open. I told y'all on one of my stories, I was in the cell dolo for a minute. For a long time, they never moved nobody in his cell. I look up one day. Guess who they moving back in the pod, y'all? <laughs> Dude, make you, man. <laughs> That's where he let him come back, man. He let him come back to the pod. A dude is not going home in the go home pod. They let him move back to the pod. I didn't understand it, man. You know what I mean? I just stood there and watched, watched him move all this, move the whole rep, move the whole right aid hygiene out back in his cell. I just watched it. I was just like, I gotta hear him get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> I gotta hear him get the hell out of here, man. You know he was at. You know he was at. He was back working the detail out in the salad port with the broom and mop, man. And that's the end of the story, man. He was he was back, man. He was back, y'all. Crazy, man. Hit that like button, man. Rock with me. We got 11 likes, 40 people, man. Rock with me. Hit that like button for the kid. Hit the like button for the kid, man. Rock with me, man. Yeah. Rock with me. Need y'all to rock with me, man. I'm going to be bringing y'all live bangers, too, man. Like... I kind of like interacting like this with y'all, man. It seems like the best come out, the best come out of me when I do it like this, because you can't mess up. Ain't no editing in this. This is all raw and exclusive. This is all raw and exclusive right here. Damn, man. So what's going on out there, man? There's, there's 43 people in here. Who's staying out the way, man? If you part of the staying out the way family and you staying out the way, man, put that SOTW in that junk, man. Right now in the chat, man. Tell me who's staying out the way, man. What's good? Who's staying out the way out here, man? What's going on, man? My cash app is, is staying out the way trade, man. That's why you want to donate to the channel? My cash app is staying out the way trade, man. I'm going to keep rocking with y'all, man. I'm going to keep giving y'all bangers, man. Staying out the way, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Let's go, man. We got to do that, man. It's hard out here, man. It's hard out here, man. Dudes fight demons every day to stay out the way. It's a, it's a hard thing. Y'all see where I'm at? I'm chilling. I'm in relaxed mode right now. I, my day been over with. You know what I mean? I told, I told myself I was going to come rock with y'all today, man. You know what I mean? I'm going to start giving y'all bangers, man. You know how I go. It's going to be all bangers, man. 
Give me some time. The merch gonna be there soon. You know what I mean? I'm gonna have that merch. Y'all already know I'm gonna have a stand them stand out of the way hoodies, t-shirts, hats, everything. I'm coming with it. You know what I mean? Give me some time to heat up, y'all. Like I say, hey Britt, don't forget to hit me on um, on TikTok, bro. Real talk, man. We gotta we gotta kick it, man. Please don't forget that, bro. For real, man. What y'all think about the story about Mankey, man? Mankey was a psycho, man. <laughs> Mankey was crazy. Mankey was crazy, y'all. He was crazy, man. Like, and for real, for real, like that's that's why, like, man. I don't, I don't wish prison on nobody, man. I don't want nobody to go through these situations, man. Like, I just tell you, I'm just talking about these situations because, like, now it feels good to let it out to, 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 to people all around the country about my journey, about what I've been through. Like, it feel good doing that, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, for real, for real. Like, but that shit was a nightmare. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It was a nightmare. You know what I mean? I ain't really, I never got stabbed. I never had to stab nobody, but still, like, prison is a nightmare. Like, however you want to look at it, like, that shit is a whole different ball game. So I advise anybody out there, man, that's headed in the wrong path, man, to tighten up and stay y'all ass out the way, man, because I'm telling y'all, man, like, you're going that shit, that shit is like going to a whole new, you're not going to be where you thought you was going to be at. You're going to be in a whole new world. This is going to be a whole new world, man. You got to deal with a whole bunch of politics, different shit, all type of shit going on. Y'all know Virginia, a gang, a gang state now. You have to go through those politics. They run the prison. You know what I mean? They run that shit. You know what I mean? I, they, I caught that shit at the end. Like, you know, I saw it from the beginning. Like, I saw how gangs came in and just went bananas. And, like, it started just being from Tidewater first and from Richmond. Like, Richmond was kind of second with it. I ain't gonna lie. Tidewater was first. And after Tidewater, it was Richmond. Then it was all the other towns from the outskirts. Like, Everybody just was blood all of a sudden, man. Then the Crips and the Crips came, massive Crips, you know, massive GDs. Like, it's gangs in Virginia now. So, like, I advise you, if you out there wilding, stay your ass out the way, man. Real talk, man. Staying out the way, McGrady, you got to stay out the way, man. Load them trucks, bro. Listen, I'm going to keep dropping them bangers, man, for you to listen to while you're on the road, bro. I got you. I got you, bro. Real talk. Who got some questions for me, man? Talk to me, man, before I get off this junk, man. I answer a couple of questions, man. What's good? Like I say, the cash app is staying out the way, Trey, man. When it, um when you go to that junk, you should see um T White pop up. You see T White, that's me. Who got some questions for me, man? South Carolina was good, bro. Listen. My mom whole side of the family from Charleston, man. Like, real talk. I used to be Geechee when I first moved out here. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. It took me a couple years to get rid of the accent, but I was super Geechee. They thought I was from Jamaica when I moved out here. You hear me? Houston was good. I got family in Houston. My word, rock with me, man. Share me out there, man. I got family out there. Rock with me, Houston. Rock with me on um, Pat Watson. Need you to rock with me out there. What y'all got going for tonight, man? It's still it's still early in some people minds. You know what I mean? It's late for me. <laughs> Stay it out of the way. Get that. I mean, might go get some air tomorrow. Move around tomorrow a little bit. You know what I mean, y'all know that Virginia weather crazy, so it depends what's going on. But yeah. No reparation, no vote. What up? What's goody? What you doing? Driving to South Carolina. Drive safe, bro. Be safe on that road, man. Real talk, man. Everybody subscribe up here, man. Everybody subscribe up here. Please tell me everybody subscribe, man. If you ain't hit the like button yet, man, hit the like button for me, man. Y'all rock with me, man. I got y'all, man. I know I jumped into I know I jumped into a mean competitive realm of of, of YouTubers from prison stories. I, I've been seeing there's a lot of good dudes out here, man. Real talk, Banky Pound, Jay Williams, Bill Feezy. You know what I mean? Like first of all, free those guys, man. Jay, uh, um, Bill Feezy and Jay Williams, man. Free those people, man. You know what I mean? Like real talk, like them dudes, like them dudes, like they they show me that you treat this serious. Like this is this can be serious, and you can win. You know what I mean? And that's all I'm trying to do, man. I'm just trying to help people. You know, 
give the message to people about staying out the way. You know what I mean? Like that's that message. I feel like is a great message, man. And it ain't nothing too foreign for a younger dude to hear. He might don't think it's corny. He might don't. You know what I mean? He'll go for somebody trying to explain to him how you stay out the way. You know what I mean? Now it's up to him to listen. You know what I mean? Because at one point we didn't listen. When we was young, so sometimes you gotta let people go through their journey to be able to to find. You know what I mean? Who they really are and be able to make that decision. Is you gonna go back to the streets or you gonna live your life? You know what I mean? After I done my time, and I told you how I used to run around in prison. Like you know what I mean? Like my whole life was different in prison than how I move out here. You know what I mean? Like I knew it was a rap though. Never going back ever. Ever. It's a possibility, man. You know, Banky be super busy, man. Banky Pound be super busy, man. Nope, I don't got no more stories with Banky, man. Real talk. Like, he won't around that long. Like I told y'all, when I moved in the cell with him, we was probably in the cell three, four, five months, then he got transferred to Greensville. You know what I mean? Fee bill, uh, fee on um, free bill, feezy. Real talk. How long, bro? Locked up? You got a minute? Like they finished him, or he, like, how long he got on um, um, Christian McGrady? How long Bill Feezy got, man? I hope he ain't got a long time. Y'all don't know how much time he got. What about Jay Williams, man? How much time these people got, man? Because I know they ain't go back, bring no number back, man. We can't be moving like that. I know they ain't do that, man. Appreciate that, bro. Watching them videos, man. Moink. Is it Moink? I might have said it wrong. I hope I didn't say it wrong, bro. But appreciate you, man. Appreciate the love, bro. I don't know what Bill Feezy got on. Um, Feezy got jammed up for, man. Like, real talk. Like, I, you know, I'm just getting on the YouTube thing about the prison YouTubers. The only YouTubers I used to really watch was Banky Pam. You know what I mean? That's who I used to watch. Oh, they ain't bad. They ain't bad. They ain't bad. Oh, shit. He turned it down. I don't know. Oh, JJ doing a year. They ain't bad. Boy, listen, this 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 YouTube stuff like the new rappers, you hear me? Y'all know how it is when a rapper gets shot or a rapper go to jail. When they come out, boy, it's going to be even stronger. Like, for real, for real. So, free those guys, man. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely glad to hear, like, both of them got little meatballs. Like, they ain't dealing with nothing serious. You know what I mean? Because it's too late in the game to go back with heavy numbers, man. That's why I be telling a lot of dudes, like, at our age, like, that's crazy bringing a crazy number back, bro. You done. I couldn't get the time I got now that I, I couldn't get the time. I, I couldn't get the time that I got back then now. I'll be done. I'll be done, man. The only good positive about me getting 18 years back in the day was that I was only 18. <laughs> so that's how, that's how I used to look at it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm still at some youth. You know what I mean? So I got another chance at life. So I ain't even mad. Appreciate that, D. Jackson, man. You know the count, man. Rock with me, man. Y'all hit that like button for me, man. Turn me up. Y'all know the count. Turn me up. Hit that like button for the kid. Hit it in when you come in. Hit it, man. Real talk. Damn. Tighten up, man. Come on, man. Pro was good. Was good. What's good, Lamar Davis? What's good with you, man? How you doing out there, man? Real talk, man. I'm happy to interact, man. We got to get this joint lit, man. That's word. Like, I'm telling y'all, man. Like, everything that's supposed to be with a good channel is about to be on my channel. Like, just give me some, just give me time. I'm just trying to bless y'all with more, you know what I mean, videos and just give y'all videos, man, and just build how I want to build my channel the way I want to do it, man. But, like, I'm really pushing the stand out the way junk, man. Like, this junk can go far. So, if you part of the Stand Out The Way family, man, lock in with me, man. Lock in with me, man. I appreciate everything, man. The cash app is Stand Out The Way Trey, man. You'll see T. White pop up, man. That's the cash app, man. Rock with me, man. That's all I ask, you know? Amanda Williams, can I please sh shout me out for my birthday? Today your birthday. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. Everybody got down tell um, her name, Pilk. Y'all, everybody tell Amanda Williams, man, happy birthday, man. Happy birthday, man. We got to be blessed to see birthdays around here, man. It's a blessing. I love when my birthday come around, man, because I'm just like, damn, so many birthdays I had in the can. <laughs> so many birthdays I had in the can was crazy. 
crazy. Like, you know, we had, we had to make a best, we had to make a best of those birthdays, man. I got stories about those too, man. Real talk, man. Like, like I told y'all, man, I'm different, man. Ain't really, ain't a whole lot of violence, man, coming from me. Why y'all think my name staying out the way, Trey? Because I stayed out the way in there. I stayed out the way in there, man. Police used to hate that I used to be so quiet and sneaky. No, he doing something. No, he too quiet. Yeah. Been staying out the way. Believe that, man. Believe that, man. But, you know, that's in the past, you know. Thank God I made it out back to my family, you know. Happy to be back with my, my first love, my wife now. You know what I mean? I'm chilling, man. Got a great life. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, man. <laughs> ah, happy rat day. We say that too. Damn. Somebody say pull out that ID. Why I got to pull out the ID for, man? Ah, damn. We the cops. Come on, man. Let's go, man. I appreciate y'all, though, man. Real talk, man. Like I say, I got 36 people in here. Just what well, was just 46. I got 23 likes, man. Who rocking with staying out the way? Trey, y'all ain't gonna show me no love, man. And whoever ain't see that, whoever ain't see the video that I did on live, man, make sure y'all go back and run that, man. Great story, man. Another great one. Y'all know the count. Damn, man. Get out of here. Get over here. What did uh, Bosco be saying? <laughs> you get to talking crazy. Get over here. Get over here, man. Yeah. Your birthday today? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, man. I don't want to mess your name up, man. I promise you I'll mess it up. But happy birthday, man. Thank God for another birthday. Definitely a 49er fan. You know the count. Man, always been a 49er fan. All my brothers Dallas fans, but I always been 49ers. I don't drink soda. You do y'all consider ginger ale soda? Only thing me and my wife drink is ginger ale. That's it. <laughs> no, I don't drink no no other soda. I haven't drunk so I didn't even drink soda in prison. I used to drink juice. No, I'm not in India, man. Indy, no, no, I'm not, no, no, you're wrong. Appreciate the love, Shaq. Don't forget, get with me when you come out here, bro. Yeah. Appreciate all of y'all, man. Real talk, man. We're going to start doing this more, man. I'm going to start dropping stories on, you know, on live, man, for y'all can enjoy them jumps, man. But, you know. Yeah, I'm in VA, bro. Yeah. <laughs> bro, you know I mean you know how many Redskin fans is in Virginia, bro? It's a million of them, bro. I ain't a whole lot of 49er fans in VA. It's a lot of us, but not a lot, like Dallas and Washington. I feel like that's a good quote. <laughs> that's how I feel. That's a great quote, man. You know, that's when that's maybe why he quoted it. But look, y'all, I appreciate y'all, man. Numbers going down. I appreciate the love, man. Y'all know the count, man. Listen, let's stay our ass out the way this, this, the rest of this weekend. Let's enjoy our Sunday, man. Let's get ready. I'll get ready to get back to business on Monday. Y'all know the count, man. So before I roll out of here, man, everybody hit that staying out the way, man. Let me, hear that, let me see that staying out the way in the chat, man. 25 people real quick. Hit me up. Staying out the way, man. Let me see it, man. That's what we doing out here, man. We're going to stay our ass out the way, man. Every damn day. We not going and put ourselves in no predicament for we can go back in them damn crazy ass jails, man, and go through them crazy situations, man. Have our people go to court and pay for lawyers and answer jail calls, man. That's a wrap, man. We not putting our people through that, man, because we staying out the way, man. But look, I'm out of here, y'all. I appreciate y'all rocking with me, man. We're going to be back again with the live game, man. I love y'all to death, man. Keep turning me up, man. Whoever ain't been in here, subscribe, man. Real talk. Rock with me, man. Let's dip. Ah.